better. I want you to also notice and feel how your knees are pointed and what's pointed correctly and what's not. That's gonna be the key to making sure we can move well before we move fast, okay? Got me? Freeze. I want you to notice, you sat down, rose up, these hands moved. Stay down. Not necessarily stay down, you gotta feel that. There's no way we can fix it if we can't feel it. All right, so I'm gonna get this tee back high and I simply want you to take a swing at this ball, cause this is about where it was, might be a little lower. And I want you to take this ball and hit that L screen in front of us, okay? That is the goal. We're gonna take about 10 more warm up cuts and that's our warm up drill. Y'all good? Good. Fifty percent effort, nice and easy. Keep the hands plain and hit this ball into this first L screen. Okay. So that tells us our hands could be even flatter. There could be even less movement in our hands. Don't rush. Nice and even. Nice and even. Hey, there you go. Do it again. Do it again, but let's get it even cleaner. Let's get it even cleaner. Remember that feeling. Good. Less movement in the lower hat. Less movement forward and more efficient turning with the lower body. One more, come on, work it down. So those last three were the complete opposite feeling, right? So now we gotta adjust less with the lower body, more turn and serve with the hands. One more, last one. So you notice how hard that is, right? I just want you to realize and understand that's how out of control you are. And out of control doesn't mean reckless. Out of control just means not doing what I want it to do. Okay? Not being able to put it where I want to put it. Okay? Not being able to execute that way. Okay? That's what we got to work on. That's why I'm saying I need 50% nice, slow, smooth for the, most of this session. Because we got to develop that sense. Okay? Couple more. Couple more. Keep the hands higher, start them higher, finish them higher, serve the platter. Come on, work it down. Yeah, you gotta feel it, 50%. Feel it, feel it, feel it. That was the closest one, but that one came off the best because it was nice and clean. Our, our, our sense of everything was good on that. Got better, better. So that one, we flung the bat out of control. Last one, give me a good one, last one, last one. Less control, good. It's a lot better. What do you notice and what do you feel through all that? The whole thing, all of it.
So we got to get detailed on exactly what's happening so you can control it, okay? That's the goal. Now the next one is this low ball, okay? What I want you to do, this next one is this low ball on purpose. But this one, I want a ball on the tee and the stance. Again, in our stance, boom, boom. We're going to step stride, lower. I want you to get to the tilt, hit the ball, stay on the tilt. One more. This one, we want to try to take a straight, easy line drive all the way, rising to the back of the cage, the whole way. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, man, give me another one. That hurt. Boom, boom, boom. Just like that, all right? The same way I get out of control is the same way you get out of control, okay? It happens, but we got to get an adjustment that fast. So it's got to go straight from the adjustment of I cut and missed to now I'm dialed in and I know exactly what to do with it, all right? Our goal is to hit a line drive just like that one. So step stride, turn, drop. Right? So the next thing, you notice how these baseballs are all coming off like this. At that angle. That's telling us we're inside out in the ball. We're not staying working straight behind. What that says is that bat head is coming through. It's coming through. Yeah, and it's dropping through. That's an overcorrection. So find the center of that baseball and work through it. So that tells you that top hand has to be more accurate and that left hand has to relax. They gotta be balanced. 50% detailed. Close, but now that tells us we're scooping a little too much. Detail, feel it, feel it. Okay, that was closer, because we hit it more solid. We still gotta be detailed and do some more work on it. Okay, we just missed it still. still. Still dumping that barrel just a little bit. Good, do it again. Do it again. Fifty percent, tone it down a little bit. We got a little more out of control. Come on, let's get it. Good, do it again. Do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. That's two, it's two in a row. Ah, see how that one's going down? That tells us we cut up a little bit, so we didn't stay through it all the way. I'll just, I can keep swinging. Oh, you went on me? Huh? Yeah, you did it? You good. Now y'all can just swing, okay? Just take some regular swings. I'm gonna get, take this L screen, that back far L screen. See this L screen, the far one, in this cage? You see it, the last one? The one right in front of the machine. Oh, that swing and miss was kind of funny. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> that swing and miss was kind of funny. I ain't even gonna lie. I haven't taken a swing that bad in a long time. Okay. Turn, step, try, turn. Yeah, keep those hands nice and high. Feel it. 50% effort. Feel where your body's going. So the last thing, yeah, and you also feel like you're coming up out of your shoes a little bit. Sit into that, sit in there, okay? Just missed. Keep those hands, keep that lower body engaged, keep the upper body stiff. Good, do it again.
Last one. Come on, last one. Let's get it. Mind, detail, detail. Control that bad head. Money. Get your drink. And then we're going to talk. Uh, get your drink real quick. Come back in. Let's talk. So what did you notice about those? Oh, they good. I felt more snubbing, but like I was just like sitting down more. I was able to just come back only. I just felt my head like just stayed at the ball. You know, like I did it. My head kind of felt behind my arms almost. And then my legs, if I got too out front and rushed, this led me to come out like that instead of just having that like round that you were talking about instead of just being right here. Sometimes, but I know I have a little drop. It would drop more than you. It would drop from like here, or I'd have it too high. That I'd cut it That's the. Uh, so we gotta simplify the movement. That's the goal. That's the thing we gotta do, man. You can be strong as you want, fast as you want, but we gotta we gotta have the skill and the control. Okay, that is the goal. So now, what we're gonna do? We're going to switch. To our wiffle ball, okay? Your goal is to hit me in the chest, okay? One hand, right hand. Your goal is to hit me in the chest. Huh? Nah. I just want you, I just want one hand to swing, not open, sorry, open stance. Open, yeah, the open stance. Watch it hit that, watch it hit that small bat. You can choke down a little bit. Cause yeah, I want you to get used to, hold, I want you to use the length that it has, all right? Hold on one second. Hey, hey, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, you about to die, bro. Hey, Andy, can you come toss to them in this middle cage? Can you come toss to them? Because you about to hurt yourself, dog. Ho, ho. <laughs> if, he, if he hit one decent, you going to die. You, You, you got to be behind the screen. And you're standing too close to the screen. So you shouldn't be that far back. You should be about one step. Well, you should, see where the bucket is? You should stand right, right. There you go. You get hit behind the screen, too. Ready? There you go. And now, yeah. Better. All right? The goal is to hit me in the chest. Okay? I'm gonna give you a better toss. Hey, keep that hands in, watch it hit. Good. So I want even less effort, more detail. Okay? Yeah, slow motion, control the motion. Good. That's what I said. Good, do it again. Stay in the legs, don't come up, stay in the legs. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I know, he, he gonna eat these though. Watch it, detailed. Good. Come on, three more. So again, see how you're tilting it? That's that same drop, okay? Keep that bat head flat. Work it behind that ball. Last two. Less. Less is more, control it, feel it, feel it. Last one. Good. So that's how detailed we gotta be from here on out, 
Okay. Okay. Yeah. And even if we do, we can't swat up. Turn, serve. I'm going to give you a better toss. I'm going to give you a better toss. Same, dropping it, still dropping it a little bit. Yeah, it's difficult. Good. Yeah, don't raise up. Come on. Two. Last one. Yeah, right? So I want you to understand and see how detailed it's got to be, okay? So I almost even want you to try it. Just get there and literally just uh, just get used to that. Don't fling it, okay? Nice and smooth, control it, control it. Control it, control it, control it. Get in the box. Go ahead. Turn the hip still. It's all got to come together still. Still all got to come together. Better. Turn. Hip first. Come on. Hip first, then everything comes to 1A and a 1B. Better. Freeze. Yeah, so see how we're kind of getting to a point where it's just straight. This is a great finish. I love that you're finishing. Only thing is, is, sometimes it gets to a point where it's so far out there. Yeah. Not out. Because now my contact's way out here. I want to give myself a chance to make. I want to give myself a chance to make contact here, all the way through. Ready? Fifty percent. Come on. Same same speed we just did. Patience. Watch it hit. Control it. Patience. Watch it hit. Control. Hey, see? See how we finish rapping? Ah. We got to be. Go ahead. Give me a one. Less. I want it to be even slower. Control. Better. Now do that on here. Yeah. Let it come. Patience. Good. Come on. Work on it. Better. Flick. Good. That's what it feels like to work your hands behind the baseball. Control. Control. Come on. Last one. So again, we're losing control because we're going too fast. Slow down. Come on. Give me a demo. Slower. Money. Do it. Don't do it on here. Click. 
You're flicking your wrist a little too late. Flick. Better. Control, control. Detail. Look at every, I want you to pick a hole on the ball and hit that hole. Good. Slow control. Good. Watch it. Slow and controlled. Ah, come on. Every muscle fiber, slow and controlled. Slower. You see how we just whipping it out of control again? Slower. I, you have to be fine-tuned like a comb. We just want one hair. We want the one gray hair, not all hair. Good. Flick. Good. Last two. Flick. Good. Last one. Pick him up. You got to slow down sometimes, Solomon. Give yourself something to drink after this. I am out of the DM out of the Baltimore, the DMV area. I'm on live. I'm on I'm out of the DMV area. This is Baltimore Urban Baseball Association. In Baltimore City. Best one of the best facilities in the state. We got a possibility of five cages. Kids in here working every day. JUCO all the way to college. Please, if you like, follow the page. Like and follow the page for more baseball stuff. That's decent, Randy. That's decent. It's not bad. It's a good job. Is it 92? Good. Keep working on that efficient, all right? Keep working on getting that more efficient and consistent. You got to get that energy from the ground up, okay? And it starts by getting that knee tucked down, keeping those abs tight, working the shoulder down. It's a good job. Once you pick the last wiffle ball up, Solomon, get a drink. If you have any questions about baseball, please ask in the comment section. I will answer. I am out of the DMV. If anybody, if you want to work, follow the page and follow me. Show us the baseball stuff and when, when so we can see where he hits it. Of course, we'll do that. We got to get there though. It's all about the lesson. We don't just work to work. We work to get better. You can leave me here. Working on something every day, intentional, trying to improve one step at a time. That's how we get better. All right. What, what do we talk about? What, what do we notice? Yeah. Yeah. I also want you to notice it's the timing of when you flick your wrist at your hands. If you flicked your wrist earlier, you would be able to navigate that barrel to the ball better and more consistently. But every time you're late with it, you miss. Okay? So what we're going to do is now we're going to build up to our regular bat and we're going to build up to just front sauce all the way to through BP, okay? So you gotta keep those same things we just talked about and what we learned, we can't give them away, all right? So we can, and then we're gonna, last one, we're gonna go to front toss, we're gonna do a split grip and I want you to get used to working behind the baseball, okay? Good. 
Good. Uh, yes. Ouch, my hamstring hurts. So here's what it's going to be. Well, that's annoying. I hope they can hear me. Hey, excuse me. Can you give me that hurdle? Simple. This is what you're going to do. You're going to stand in front of me, and you're going to be me like you're tossing. Give me your back. Right there. I'm not hitting the ball. So what I'm looking for, right? Split grip, okay? If hands are split. Step stride. As you, I want you to give me a toss and then walk the ball towards me holding, okay? You're gonna stride, I'm turned, freeze. You're gonna come through with the hands and I want you to work on using this barrel, getting it behind the ball, okay? So go back and give me a slow, mo slow motion walk. Walk the real quick. Hold on one second. So the keys, this hurdle is going to be for you to sit in your legs. So it's going to be a slow, boom, I'm here. I see it's coming. I'm trying to get freeze, I'm trying to get that barrel behind the ball. If you look, so I want you to leave, leave the ball right here, about right there. I want you to get your eyes behind that baseball. So get it down on the knee. So what you're going to see is you're going to see me getting on plane. I'm on plane about here, right? I'm on plane as that ball's coming forward. Now my barrel's directly behind the ball, right? Now once I know I'm here, flick the wrist, stay extended. So one full rep is going to look just like this. Side back. I was going to be... I don't want you to come up. Slow motion. It's, it's going to be a, a small motion. So literally it's going to be a... Already a simulated toss, strike, turn, boom, boom. Just like that. I really want you to focus on trying to, imagine you're trying to throw the ball back and you're gonna throw that ball right back up the middle, right back to me, okay? You drop it, it's okay. We got plenty of them, baseballs. Turn, that hip already, yeah. And now just work those hands, finding the center point of behind that baseball. Yeah. Yeah, detail. Yeah. Do it again. Do it again. Find the plane. Don't swing if it's not a strike. Yeah, right. So that one, we didn't find that plane. Find that plane. It hit that line, feel that line drive, that first one you do it, do it again. Good. Good. Do it again. Okay. Yeah, so we missed it. So that one, we're a little late. Find it. Turn that leg just a little bit. Turn on that right foot. Knock. Yeah. So you see how you're cut. I want you to see. Now you should be able to see and feel when you're cutting versus working behind the ball. Okay? Yeah, still cutting a little bit. Come on. Better. That one, we, we still missed it just a little bit. Okay. That's what I'm looking for. Do it again. Okay. So we missed it just a little bit. Work that behind the ball. Good. Do it again. Good. Last three. Last one. Two, excuse me, two. 
Good. Hold the finish. Come on. Last one. Make it the best one. Nope. Find that barrel. Find it behind the ball. One more. I'll take it. Now, full swings, regular swing, you can leave the hurdle. Leave the hurdle. Full swing, remember what it was to work that, work that barrel behind the ball efficiently, okay? Remember what it felt like with that accuracy with your right hand and how you had to flick the wrist. 50%, 60% swings, okay? Details. So we dumped the barrel. Deep 50% swings. So that's three in a row. We're deflecting, right? So that means we got to flick the wrist, get on plane, and make it even. Better. Good. So Solomon, what's happening is you're trying to grip up and get a little bit more strength instead of just being refined. We can't use strength, we have to use finesse. It's about how you hit the ball, okay? We gotta control 50%. So that does us no good if we're, just, if we're here and then we're about to, oh, okay, I went slow, now I'm gonna go hard. Nah, you gotta go 50%, nice and easy. It's about how you hit the ball. Less is more. Efficient, clean move. Better. Clean. That's the best one. Keep building on it. Couple more. So that one we flared off a little bit. See it, and make the adjustment. Feel the correct correction in your body. Come on. Good. Good, less is more, come on. Last five. Good. So the last thing, right? Now we're starting to get in that barrel adjustment, but we're starting to get a little bit of this going. Keep that right knee tucked down, okay? It's looking a whole lot better. These last like eight have been really good. Three more, finish. Last one. Nope. Feel it, 50%, feel it. Less is more, less movement, work behind. Get on plane. Good, get a drink. You, you want his shin to touch it so he feels the 45% or you want him to avoid it? I want him to touch it. Yeah, because you, you he's, get the parts in there. Yeah, that's what I'm like, I want him to touch it. He's close, but he's not quite. I want him to touch it because most kids don't work into their leg. So if I'm like, yes, yeah. so if I'm here. Yeah, no, I got it, yeah, that's smart, man. Boom, just, just no, touch it. Yeah, but you gotta step the other way where it's 45, you wanna. I don't wanna touch it too, I just wanna touch it that little bit. I know, but it's at the end. Oh, you're saying this way. If you had it at the, no, 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 you had it right, I'm saying, if you had it at the angle where your, your shins, it, look. Let's say you need to be at 45, if that's at 45. I see what you're saying, like this. Yeah, it, but for a training device, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's my way of doing uh, the easier version of those damn farm boards. It's, a, it's like a, a, pe a piece, like a, you ever seen a paper plate? It's like, a, like a, a nice, fancy, thick paper towel that you put on the floor. And what it's meant to do is most, it's supposed to like, it makes the ground slippery. So in order, huh? Oh, I've seen those. Because in order to actually stay on it, I got to twist and stay firm. It's the same principle, it's just now instead of it being on the ground, it's here. So you just want just a little bit, boom. And don't lean back, okay? That last couple were a lot better, but I still need 50%, okay? All right, I still need 50% swings, 50% speed, getting it detailed, locked in, all right? 
Holy shit, the dog scared the hell out of me. You ready? Get in the box. All right, we're gonna get eight. We're gonna get eight, then I'm gonna switch it, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go overhand. Ready? Hey, watch it over here. Hey, fellas, watch this. Don't, don't get too close. He's swinging. Good. So, don't fly out with that hip. Keep everything solid. Less is more movement. Come on. Less movement, the more movement. Good. 50% swings. Nice and easy. Good. Three. Good. Last two. 50% detail. Good. Last one. Good, good job. Good job. Okay, we missed. That happens. We're going to miss. Next one. Money. That's a good round. That's what I'm trying to get to. You got to get to that feeling and that feel. We don't need to work at 100%. You got to work on control 24 7. That's how we command a strike zone. Okay? That's how we become a sniper. Okay? We can't be AK 47s. We got three swings. We need to be snipers. I hit and I'm precise. As soon as I take the bat off my shoulder, I'm precise. All right? Hold on one second. Step out of the box. Actually, uh, I need one of them chairs. Dang. It was a strike, too. See, that's also the problem. Oh, you want me to grab the thingy? Nah. Is it called a line square? No, you don't have to. Oh, where's this chair? I think I just broke it. Uh, put it behind the screen. Hey, Andy. Andy. Yes, sir. I think I broke your L screen. Your, your tripod. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 that, that was... Oh, yeah, see? See, how does that happen? I hit it. With what? The baseball. Yes, that's how that happens. <laughs> <laughs> It'll still work. It's just not stable. Well, well, if we make an indestructible... Tripod? And still as a Look. baseball tripod, we do it all right. Yeah, I think it's done. <laughs> yeah, it's done. Sorry, hold on. <laughs> but just put it right there. Yeah, we might have to just be done with this. Oh well. I had a good live going too. I had fifteen hundred people. <laughs> you know, in the future they'd have a drone to the first and the baseball coming out of this like no. Well what we really need is something to just clip it right here. What's up? Yeah. Oh, let's try that. It's got, it's got good metal. All right. Thing is, I'm about to just metal. give yeah, up. You, you got to put a metal plate on your phone. That's the thing. I got metal on my phone. Any tips for hitting oppo? Uh, DM me. Follow me and DM me. I'll tell you how to do it. I got to get a session. Can you put... Let me see. No, you gotta put a metal plate on your phone. Just let me see. It might, I have a quad lock, so my there's a, there might be some metal in here. Nope. Yeah, it is. No, well, it's not strong enough. So I have I have this it's a metal sticker, but once you put that sticker on your phone, it'll come out. But if that's what you want, Shit, I'm not using it. It's whatever. You know what I'm saying it's like a metal disc you glue onto. It's really thin. Yeah. I'm just gonna have to end the live.